Oops. I forgot that this song was explicit. Jason Derulo is a pretty good singer. I try. Uh, what is it? I try to. I try to. Make you stay. Make you stay. So now we can try to do the main part of the song, the chorus. And usually once I get to that part of the song, I um, go back to the beginning and try to remember everything that I just did. So yeah, let's see if I could do the chorus first and put everything together. that this song was explicit uh well that's why i like playing songs on the violin because you can still enjoy the melody and it doesn't matter what words there are so try to disregard the swearing and we can just focus on the melody here i didn't even know that this song had swear words in it sorry about that guys but yeah that's why we're learning it on violin so we can enjoy the melody <laughs> so it's like just a bunch of different patterns using E flat, F, E, and then sometimes C. So let's see if I can do it again. And then it goes into the post chorus. That's an interesting run there. second verse which is probably going to be pretty similar to the first verse let's see so 
usually for the second verse of a song, I go up an octave just to make it a bit different. So that's why I'm doing it up on the A string. Baby, I hope it doesn't come with similar to the beginning but it he added a little bit he added a B flat because I know um, the chorus and the post chorus come back again so maybe we can do that the last chorus
yeah, this is part where we can go up higher. song there so once you've gone through all the different sections of the song what I usually do is I try to go back to the beginning and refresh my memory on what we did sometimes it takes pretty long to try to remember all the different parts again but you know once I repeat it several times that's when I usually can get more comfortable with it and remember it as a whole so I'm not going to film myself going back through the whole song again but I hope that just seeing my process for learning a song like this by ear can help you be able to learn a song that you'd like to learn as well. Once you've got a good handle on the melody and rhythms for the whole song, that's when you can go back and arrange the melody in your own way. You can come up with your own bowings, articulations, um, dynamics, octave changes and embellishments, and you can even go a bit further and create your own backtrack for it and harmonies if you'd like. It's really fun to be able to learn songs by ear so that you don't have to rely on sheet music. It's a, a great skill to be able to read music and also improvise and learn my ear so I hope that this can help you develop that. Thanks for bearing with me and just seeing my process. I hope that it wasn't too boring and it could be useful for you in developing more skills on the violin and just creating your own style. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Let me know if you like this type of video in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you want to be the first to see any new videos that I upload. And if you're interested in learning more about the violin, I also teach online lessons, so you can email me at KimberlyHopeMusic at gmail.com if you're interested. Thank you again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!